Morning, everybody. Uh, what I have here is a Mack piston. Um, originally, I thought with this truck that the fuel injector failed in it. I thought the injector was the injector was hanging up, and it wouldn't do it all the time. There was no difference in exhaust manifold temperatures and couldn't make it miss when I would see it. Well, the miss became a reoccurring miss where it, once it started, it, eventually it failed. Uh, when I first pulled it apart, I was thinking that it had a bad injector. Uh, told the owner the injector failed on it. And then when I pulled it apart, I was look, saw this, and as you see, there's pieces of the ring stuck in it. And the owner said to me that the fellow that put it together thought that he might have broken a ring. So I automatically just when I, I was like, yep, yep, that that's that's not the case. Uh it did break rings, but that's not the case. That's not what caused it. Uh, I'm ordering parts for it and I want to make sure exactly what happened whenever I work on something. And this, it was caused, there's a lot of things going on in this piston, but this is caused by a faulty injector. If you look right there, that is caused by the droplets of fuel, instead of it being atomized and sprayed down in, that is a fuel droplet. And when they make a fuel, when you get droplets on the piston, it creates an unbelievable amount of heat, hot spots, and it will melt your piston. And that's, you can see how it is washed, and it has washed itself out. Now, rings break over time. The majority of a ring break is caused by aluminum buildup on your liner. And your rings start to gain traction on that aluminum and it will break the ring. Well, what happened here is this melted down. This liquefied the aluminum. And it transferred aluminum from the piston to the liner and it allowed the rings to gain traction on the liner and since there is a void here it would break the ring off and the ring would end up on top of the dome And that fuel would carry itself out the ring gap. And that would allow more aluminum to gain on the liner to build up. And the leftover remaining rings in there would gain traction and break out. And the process just carried on. So just. Like I said, there's a lot, a lot of the scoring that is going on. That is a sign of heat. Like an overheated engine will do that. You'll get it at the top of the piston. But th that's not the case with this. This has all been because of an injector failure. So there is that. All right, everybody. See you.